Hey everyone, it's Sav here. In today's video, we're making whole grain and coconut flour crepes. In my mixing cup here, I have 3 quarter cup of cold whole milk and later we're going to add 3 quarter cup of cold water as well. In my mixing bowl here, I have 1 cup of white whole wheat flour mixed with a third of a cup of coconut flour, 1 tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt, made 2 capfuls of vanilla extract, and I have here 4 tablespoons of avocado oil but you can sub for any oil or even use real butter. And you'll also need 3 large eggs. Into your blender, you want to add in all of your whole milk. And then I'm going to use the same measuring cup and add in 3 quarter cup of cold water. All of my avocado oil. 2 capfuls of my vanilla extract. All of my eggs. Finally, the dry mixture. Put the lid on and pulse this for just about 30 seconds. And then you just want to scrape down the sides a bit because sometimes that flour mixture tends to stick to the sides and you want to make sure this is all blended very well. Pop that lid back on and continue to pulse until smooth and there are no more lumps. It's very important to place this mixture into the fridge and let it rest for at least 2-3 to three hours but for best results, leave it overnight. Into a hot non-stick skillet on medium heat, I'm going to spray in some coconut oil spray. I'm going to lift the pan off of the heat source, add in about a quarter cup of batter right down the middle and begin to swirl the pan. This is just so that you can evenly distribute the batter so it's nice and even. The first crepe is always the ugliest. I don't know why, maybe the pan's too hot or it's too cool. That's just the way it is. After about a minute, you want to make sure to check for doneness. The edges will start to look kind of dry. Just Get in there and flip over and cook this side for another 20 seconds or so and you're done. Slide it right off and begin with the next crepe. Just a quick note, you do not need to spray the pan before you add in the batter each time. You only need to do it the first time. If you let your batter sit long enough in the fridge, at least two to three hours or overnight, you should have no problem with your crepes tearing while you are cooking them and it's really important to have a good non-stick pan for this. All right, these are done. The last crepe is always the biggest because it's all that like whatever's left in the bowl. So these are actually, you know, you can make these ahead. You can leave them in the fridge for two to three days and just um, zap them in the microwave to kind of bring them to room temperature. And this recipe makes about eight to 10 crepes. I'm just going to show you guys how we like to eat them at home. I have some whipped cream here that I'm just going to dollop right down the middle. Add in some of your sliced bananas. And I like to use fresh fruit. We used to use Nutella, that's before it became like really health conscious, but if that's your thing, go right ahead and add some of that inside of these as well. And go some sliced strawberries, some blackberries, and some raspberries. And then I'm just going to roll this up and dust with some powdered sugar. If you want to get fancy, you can make some chocolate ganache and drizzle that on top, or even store-bought chocolate syrup works too. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and delicious video. Thanks for watching.